What is up you guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the Cowl Induction Snorkel Mod. So I'm gonna show you how to take this and replace it with this. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are all the parts for everything. Once again, everything will be in the description below for links. You're going to need a two inch hole saw, a three hole saw, a couple of locking, I think these are called T-bands, but link will be in the description, I'll correct it if I'm wrong. You need some air duct, an elbow joint that's four inches to three inches, a coupler, and a wall mount. And I'm gonna show you, oh, and you'll need a drill. You need a drill. Okay, so first things first, we wanna take this 10 millimeter bolt, loosen it. Make sure that's loose. For me, these are 13, but I don't think these are stock bolts. So you want to loosen these. Other one's deep down in there. Then you want to wiggle this off here. Just wiggle it out and it will slide off just like that. And this should come right out. Next we need to remove our cowl. So you'll have different plugs. Mine are old and broken so I have different ones but let's go ahead and remove them. We need to remove our windshield wipers first. This you can take a little screwdriver, a little flat head, get underneath here and just pop this up. just like that. The middle one's kind of difficult to reach. So you just got to figure out how to reach it, but it should come right up just like that. It comes off. This exposes the 14 millimeter bolts. And we want to just break loose. And you kind of want to make a mental note of where your windshield wipers are because they need to go on in the same spot so you just loosen this up undo it and then this pulls off just like that not easy but it does come off mine's got crud in it maybe that's why it was more difficult but there's one wiper then we gotta loosen the other one So this middle windshield wiper is kind of rough to get to. I, uh, we're crawling up on the tire here and just like that comes right out. Hopefully it's as easy for you, but it's normally not in my experience. Now we have to remove our cowl, which this just pops up. There's tabs holding it in that uh, you just push up and lift up on. Just like that. Then you can remove this. You should have less cables unless you've run a bunch of wiring. And there you go. Now you actually have access to your wiper motors if you ever need to replace those. So I cannot show you this part because I've already drilled it. So instead I'm gonna show you what to use and where to do it and hopefully that'll make your life pretty easy but let me show you what we got so if you're using the loose fitted hose or the flexible hose in the link below this will be much easier for you to drill so we have to drill this hole here of course I already have it I'm going to show you how we measure it so you take your coupler you stick it on your intake just like that and then you can kind of just line it up and if you get really close you'll be fine so all you do is take your drill and you just punch it through right here now I recommend you take your hole saw and put it right up to the top here because you want to be as high up in this channel here 
as possible. And the reason is water will get in here and flow out the sides because this is your intake for your cabin. So, you know, this air is fine for you to breathe. It's fine for your engine. Once you get this hole punched in, you have to add a couple more air intakes for your intake. So this is where you take your two and three quarter inch hole saw and you have to punch in on the sides. So take a look. This hole is not there for you. This hole is not here for you either. And as you can tell, it's not a pretty hole, but it doesn't have to be. So you just want to get your drill in here, twist it like this, just find some place it's hitting. Let me see if I can show you with the camera. I don't know if you can see. You just want to find the wall and you just want to punch through it and just open up these vent holes for your, your hole saw. So once you get your hole sawed, you want to take your coupler and just put this up against here, just like this. So we want to take some self-tapping screws and I'm just going to go into the holes I've made. But obviously if you don't have these holes, you just punch through. It's just, it's very thin metal. It's not hard. check that out we have it mounted now I will say I've had this installed for about a year and let's check what our air filter looks like it's not too bad it's a year without checking air filter probably shouldn't do that but like I said if you want you can look in the forums in the description there's a lot of people who have been running this for a long time and have had no issues if you want to read some and not just take my word for it and this is just putting the lego pieces together so we want to take our smallest one put this around our coupler here just like this this goes on just like that Make sure it's nice and flush all the way up there. Now you wanna make sure that this nut here is accessible. So we're gonna turn this. Yeah, this is a 10 millimeter. If you have them, just use them. Power tools make it a lot easier. We just don't wanna over tighten it and crush anything. Put this in right and then you put this on just like that clamp this down here you want to make sure your clamp is kind of even around it if possible let me just tighten this down easy peasy now just take your other hose clamps shove that in there just like that and just tighten it down so we need to get all this put back together which all we need to do is put our cowl back on so you really want to make sure this goes on the way it came off because it actually affects your windshield, among other things. But you want to make sure you get it nice and tight up against where it's supposed to. It's easier if you don't have cables in the way, but... And you want to make sure that your base is up against your windshield, because that's where it's supposed to be. So just like that, that's a good start. Just take your time. Make sure you get it right, because this part is important because this will keep water out of your cowl, but you just wanna make sure you take your time and do it right. So after much more struggle than it should have been, mostly due to ditch light brackets and lots of cabling, we're good. 
Okay, so once you get this back on, you want to just push it down. You can see if the holes line up right here. You can see that. We just want to push this down, make sure it clips in place. Um, a lot of my clips are broken. The truck's old and it's been in the sun its entire life. So it's just old and cracked and I'm using some temporary things to keep it in place. But if you do it right, it will all line back up along your dust or dirt pattern here. And now let's put our wiper blades back on. So your wiper blades go on just like they came off. You stick them on. You try to line them up to where you had them on your windshield. So if your windshield's dirty, this helps. So just like this. Like I said, make sure it's lined up on your windshield. Perfect. Take your 12 or 14 millimeter, put these back on. And you wanna hand tighten these, so you don't wanna crank this down. So you just hand tighten them. It doesn't need to be hard. All right, put the covers back on. And that's it. That's a cowl induction snorkel mod. Easy peasy. Stay tuned next week. We're going to put a dual battery right here. Because now we can do that, even with our brake booster. I forgot to film an outro. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see one of my other tutorials, you should be see them here and here. I'd like to thank you for watching, and peace out.